What's up everybody? This is Dr. Nick with Leverage Media and today I want to talk to you about step two of eight in the never lose a customer again process, admit. Uh, so you've heard me talk a lot about our training that we have coming up with Joey Coleman, author of Never Lose a Customer Again. Uh, if you haven't registered yet, go to neverloseapatientagain.com and you can get scheduled for that, that free online training. Um, so step two is, is one of chiropractors favorite parts of the, the eight process or the eight step process, uh, the hundred day process. So step two is where the new patient decides that you're the solution, you're the answer, and they want to do business with you. This usually happens. Most chiropractors, I think, uh, do day one and day twos where they do their exam on day one. And then day two, they do the report of findings and the patient either says yes or no. And that's when they deliver the first adjustment in most offices. So this is usually the, uh, the part that feels the best as a chiropractor. Well, maybe the second, the second best part. The first best part is when you like deliver that adjustment that gets them feeling better and gets their life transformed uh, in a new way. But that, that, uh, that second best feeling is when, uh, when that patient says yes. You've you know, put in all this time attracting that patient. You've done a great day one. You've done a great day two. They believe in you. They've gone from, uh, from skeptical to excited. And so now they're in, right? So this is the stage in the process where the, where the patients feel the most excited. There's a dopamine rush. It's, it's basically the body's way of, of justifying uh, spending that money. So they've decided that you are the solution to their problem. Now, remember, the only reason why anyone is saying yes to your care plan is giving you money because they think that you can help them solve a problem that they have. It's not because they like you. It's not because, uh, you know, you've got a great website at this point. Now it is basically, I think this is the person who can help me with the problem that I haven't been able to solve on my own right? So this is where they go from, uh, like I said, from skeptical to excited. Uh, they start to get uh, pumped up. The problem is, is that a lot, of, uh, a lot of chiropractors don't always share in that excitement. You know, a new patient is not some like, uh, you know, big new experience for most offices. Like my office averages over 50 new patients, uh, 50 new patients a month. I would say probably 40 of those uh, start care uh, on some level going forward in our practice. And so it's a pretty, you know, there's 20 days in the, in, in the month or 22 days in the month. Um, so, you know, about two people per day start care in our practice. So it's not like it's a, it's a unique experience for us. Now for them, it might be the first time they've ever been to a chiropractor before. It might be the first time that they felt hope about solving that problem that's been giving them trouble for 10, 15 years. As chiropractors, we have to make sure that we're matching that excitement with them. And even if you do get excited, maybe you only get five new patients a month and only one of them starts. And so that one really is exciting, right? But sometimes the excitement can be shared behind the scenes. It can be shared with the team. And when that happens, the patient starts to feel like, well, maybe, I, maybe I'm not, as, not that special. You know, because the day one and day two, they, they feel they feel very taken care of. They feel very important. There's usually a lot of pomp and circumstance around that day one and day two. It's very different than a normal uh, visit. So matching their excitement and matching their enthusiasm, because remember, they've, they've made a decision that they're trusting their health in your hands. It's so important that you really uh, meet them where they're at. And so you have to think about what is the, because the next, the next step is, the buyer's remorse. And we'll get more into that in, uh, in step three. So what is it that you can do in this step to allow your patients to feel great about that decision beyond just the dopamine rush? I'm sure, I'm sure most of you have had this experience where um, someone comes in, they go through the day one, day two process. They're so pumped to get started. They sign up right away. They're ready to get going. Maybe they get their first adjustment. They go home and tell their spouse right? And usually it's the, the wife going home and telling the husband. And if the husband wasn't involved in that day one, day two process and didn't understand the value that was being built, they can be like, you spent how much on what? And that's where things can start to fall apart. So, you know, including any other decision makers in, in this process is always an important part. Uh, but really being a partner in this admit process uh, will pay dividends 
in a big way um, as we go through uh, the rest of the stages. So, uh, so be sure that that we're we're um, you know everybody wants to be to be part of a tribe. So everyone wants to feel like they found their place. So the, uh, the, the most important part is that you make them feel um, like they've made the right decision. You, you make them feel like they are, they're in the right place uh, for that problem. And now they're going to be a part of a tribe or they're going to be part of a family. Um, and that way it's hard for somebody to, from the outside who doesn't really understand what they've already gone through to you know, put in their negative uh, viewpoints on things. So this stage is so important. It's going to be uh, one of the, these first two stages, I think, actually these first three stages, I think are going to be probably what we spend the most time on in the training. And uh, if you didn't hear me talk about it before, Tuesday, May 5th, 7 p.m. Central, neverloseapatientagain.com uh, will allow you to register. Joey Coleman and I are going to be going through each one of the eight steps for chiropractors specifically. So you're able to walk step-by-step step with us and start to build out that patient experience uh, for you and your team. Um, and what a good time to be able to, uh, to execute this uh, because we have the time, we have the gift of time. Like even the practices that are, that are open and doing pretty well are still, still down 20, 30, 40%. Some are down way more, some are closed. So you've got lots of time to be able to work on these types of things. And I've been telling people since the beginning, like now is the time to be working on these long-term projects, whether it's your patient experience, whether it's your website, whether it's your Google My Business listing, do things that you can invest some time now that are going to pay a ton of dividends in the future. So we'll see you on the training Tuesday, May 5th, 7 p.m. Central, and we'll see you on the, uh, the next step in the process.